Hello students and welcome to my channel Maths Hub. So today in this video, I'll tell you about the derivative formula and multiplication by T formulas. So let's start with the derivative formula. So the Laplace transforms of derivatives. Now I'll tell you the first derivative formula, the second derivative formula, the third derivative formula and then we will generalize it. So to begin with, the first derivative formula says that Laplace of f dash t is s Laplace of f t minus f at 0. Likewise, the second derivative formula says Laplace of f double dash t is s squared Laplace of f t minus s f at 0 minus f dash 0. Similarly, the third derivative formula is Laplace of f triple dash t is s cube Laplace of f t minus s square f at 0 minus s f dash at 0 minus the last term over here is f double dash at 0. Right? So what are we doing? We are starting with the same power of s and we are reducing the power of s by 1. And we begin with Laplace of ft, then f0, then f dash 0, f double dash 0 and so on. Till your third order derivative is involved. Right? Now, likewise, if I generalize this formula for any nth order derivative, the formula becomes Laplace of f n t is s to the power n Laplace of f t minus keep on decreasing 1 power of s with every step. So it is s n minus 1 f at 0 and now keep on increasing the derivatives, right? So we have s n minus 2 f dash 0 minus s n minus 3 f double dash 0. Likewise, it will go on till f n minus 1 0. You can see that only the first term is positive, rest, <coughs> all the terms are carrying a negative sign, right? Now, so roughly what is happening when we have the derivative formula, we are multiplying with s on our right hand side. So on the left hand side, we have derivative, on the right hand side, we are multiplying it with s. So now let us apply this formula in this question and see how it is done. We need to find the Laplace transform of ft equal to sine squared t using the transform of derivatives. So, if ft is equal to sine squared t, let us see what will be f dash t. f dash t will be 2 sine t multiplied by cos t which becomes sine 2t, right? So, we already know what is the formula for the second order derivative. So, what is the formula for second order derivative? We know that Laplace of f double dash t is equal to s square Laplace of f t minus s f at 0 minus f dash at 0. We'll start with the same power of s and one power of s will keep on decreasing and we start with Laplace of ft then we have f0 and then the derivatives will keep on right. So now let us put in the values in all these terms. <coughs> so this was the second order derivative and what is the first order derivative? The first order derivative says let me write it down here Laplace of f dash t is equal to s into Laplace of ft minus f at 0, right? Now, we have just calculated f dash t and we know that we can calculate the value of Laplace, right? So, let us put in the values here. So, f dash t is sine 2t equal to s into Laplace of ft. What is ft? It is sine square t, right? Minus f at 0. If ft is equal to sine square t, what will be f at 0? f at 0 will be sine 0 which is 0 itself, right? <coughs> so, let me put in the value here. Now, I need to calculate the value of Laplace of sine square t. So, I know what is Laplace of sine 2t. What is it? It is a, a here is 2. So, it is 2 upon s square plus 2 square. This is equal to s into Laplace of sine square t. So, from here, what is Laplace of sine square t? S will get divided and we will get 2 upon S into S square plus 4. Right? So, this becomes my answer. <coughs> I hope it is clear. 
right so let us go to the next question and see what is to be done here so we need to calculate the laplace transform of ft equal to t sin t now how to do this question let us see so let us see first of all what is our first derivative so t into sin t okay let's calculate what is f dash t we'll prod, apply the product rule so t multiplied by derivative of sin is cos t then let us keep sin t as it is derivative of t becomes 1 right now let us calculate f double dash t also now why do i want to calculate double dash t because i know that when i'll apply laplace over here again this term is not known to us right we don't know the direct laplace of t into cos t so what is derivative now t into cos t derivative will become minus sin t then cos t will come as it is derivative of t will become 1 derivative of sin t will become cos t right so i can write this term as minus t sin t plus 2 cos t <coughs> now let's apply laplace of f double dash t what is laplace of f double dash t it is s square laplace of f t minus keep on decreasing 1 time s s into f at 0 minus again s goes becomes s to the power 0 is 1 so we have f dash at 0 so now let us put in the values laplace of f double dash t what is f double dash t it is minus t sin t plus 2 cos t equal to s square what is laplace of ft ft is t sin t right okay minus s f at 0 now what is f at 0 if f at t is t sin t f at 0 is 0 into sin 0 so 0 into sin 0 is 0 so this term becomes 0 minus f dash 0 now when i put f dash 0 what do i get 0 into cos of 0 plus sin of 0 again it is 0 right so these two terms become 0 so now <clears throat> let us apply the linearity property so the first term becomes minus laplace of t sin t plus 2 times laplace of cos t you'll get my video on linearity property so you have it if you haven't checked it do check it right so it is s square laplace of t sin t then this term is 0 this term is 0 done okay. so now let us collect the like terms let's take this term on the right hand side so we will get 1 plus s square <coughs> laplace of t sin t is equal to 2 times laplace of cos t now what is laplace of cos t it is s upon s square plus 1 right so if it is s upon s square plus 1 so what will be laplace of t sin t then this s square plus 1 will also get divided so we get 2s upon s square plus 1 whole square so i hope the question is clear to everyone okay so let's proceed to the next question so in the next question we have the next property that is the laplace transform of multiplication by t now when we do laplace transform of multiplication by t what does the rule say the rule says that if laplace of ft is equal to f of s then what happens laplace of you multiply by t to the power n laplace of t to the power n into ft will become on the right hand side we have minus 1 raised to power n nth derivative of the laplace transform of f right that means if i have to multiply with a single t i'll take first derivative if i have to multiply with second t square that means t square then i have to take the second derivative if i have to multiply by t cube i have to take the third derivative and so on so you saw in the last formula for derivative that on the left hand side we had derivative so on the right hand side we were multiplying by f right now in this case when we are multiplying by t on the left hand side what are we doing we are taking the derivative on the right hand side right 
So if you are multiplying on the left, you are taking the derivative on the right. If you are taking the derivative on the left, then you are multiplying with the with s on the right. Right. So let us apply this in a question and see how it is being applied. So let us look at this question. Find the Laplace transform of t into sine hyperbolic AP. Now I need to calculate Laplace of t into sine hyperbolic AT. Now whenever you are doing the question, you have to think that which properties you can apply. Because when you apply properties, the questions become very clear and they become easy. So here you can see that if I know the Laplace of sine hyperbolic AT, it is getting multiplied by T. Right? So I can use multiplication by T formula. So let us apply this concept. So let us start with Laplace of sine hyperbolic AT. Now, what is Laplace of sine hyperbolic AT? If you remember, it is A upon, if you remember Laplace of sine AT, it is S upon S square plus A square. So when it is hyperbolic, the only changes in the sign. So we have A upon S square minus A square, right? Now, we are multiplying this term with T. So when we are multiplying with T, what is happening on the right hand side? We have to multiply with minus 1 raised to power 1, the same power of T. And then we have to take the first derivative of A upon S square minus A square. Right? So this is minus. I can take out A common. This term can be written as D by DS of a square minus a square raised to power minus 1. So what is the derivative? It is minus 1 into a square minus a square power minus 2 multiplied by derivative of this term that is 2s. So minus into minus will become plus. It will become 2as upon a square minus a square. So this is Laplace of t into sine hyperbolic right so this becomes my answer so i hope you got the steps how did we start and how did we proceed using the multiplication by t so let's proceed to another question yeah so we have to find the Laplace transform of ft equal to t into cos t how to do this question. So again you can see that I have to calculate the Laplace of t into cos t. So I am multiplying with t. So if I know the Laplace of cos t I can multiply it with t. So what is Laplace of cos t? It's very simple. It is s upon s square plus 1 square. Right. Now when you multiply it with t what are we doing? We are taking minus 1 to the power 1 and then the first derivative of s upon s square plus 1. So what is the first derivative? We can start with s square plus 1 whole square. And I can put a bracket over here. Start with the denominator. Derivative of s is 1. Minus s into derivative of the denominator is 2s. So now this is s square plus 1 minus 2s square. So it is minus of minus s square plus 1 divided by s square plus 1 whole square. So now this is s square minus 1 upon s square plus 1 whole square. So this becomes my answer. Right? So let's proceed to the next question. So the question says, it's a MCQ based question. The Laplace transform of t into e raised to power minus t into cos hyperbolic 2t is, you have to mark the correct option, right? So, I'll give you a hint. Now, whenever you do a question on Laplace, what is to be done? We start with the first term and then we see that which properties are applicable over here. So, so far, if you are checking up my videos, you will find that we have done the first shifting property. We have done the linearity property and we have done the multiplication by t formula and the derivative formula right now in this case you can see that you are multiplying with t also and you are taking the first shifting property also right so if you just recall when you multiply by t you take the derivative of the term right and when you are 
multiplying by e to the power minus t, it is the first shifting property. That means s will get shifted to the minus a, right? So how to start? I'll just tell you the steps and you can complete this question on your own and you can check your answer later. So we start with the basic function that is Laplace of cos hyperbolic 2t. So it is s upon s square minus 2 square that is 4, right? Then the next step is you multiply this term with t. Multiply cos hyperbolic 2t with t. So you will get a minus sign and you will get d by ds of <coughs> s upon s square minus. Right. You need to take the derivative. And once you got the derivative, whatever you get here, then you take multiplication by e to the power minus t. So in that case, what happens? You are applying the first shifting property. So whatever derivative you get here, in that derivative, you will shift s to s minus minus 1. So that will become s plus 1. Right? So I am leaving this as an exercise. So try this question and try to see the answer later on that what is the correct option. Right? So you will find after solving that first part is the correct option. Right? So I hope you got the concepts, right? So thank you so much for patiently listening to me. And all those who like the video, do hit the like button. And those of you who have not subscribed my channel, do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video. Till then, have a good day and believe in yourself and you will be able to succeed. Thank you.